hello there. I thought we'd hang out together today. I'm glad you're here with me. Thanks for hanging out. What are we gonna do together today? I don't know. <laughs> I, I made a list yesterday. Uh, some of those things I didn't get to, so uh, it spills over to the next day. That's how it always works. I will share dinner with you. I don't know what's for dinner. We'll figure that out together. Home from trip. Oh, I meant to unpack yesterday. Didn't get to that, so hopefully we'll do it today. We recently got back from the beach, so it's been a few days, uh, so I really need to unpack. It's mostly clothes, but it's like extra laundry. I just threw a, another load of laundry in, my second load. I'll have to do a third load, so inevitably we'll have some laundry to fold by the end of this. Maybe if you throw laundry, in right now, by the end of the video, it'll be time to switch it from the wash to the dryer. How about that? You go ahead and do that, okay? I also plan on organizing my closet. That probably won't happen. <laughs> Clean my van because there's sand everywhere from the beach. Tidy up my pantry. That'll probably happen. That's uh, pretty important. And then, oh, <gasps> I've been waiting to make this pecan treat. It's like a pecan pie bar. Yes, please. So we'll make that together. And who knows what the day will bring. Oh, actually, we have a house showing in a few hours, so I'll bring you along to that as well. It might be the one, guys. It might be the one. I also have a thrift haul to share with you guys because this video is sponsored by ThreadUp. That's a really cool sponsorship. So huge thanks to them for supporting me. Humongous thanks to you for supporting me when I have sponsored content. So I'll share with you the haul first. And speaking of all my outfits and going on vacation, I shared most of my outfits um, in like outfit of the days on Instagram and so many of you love them and you have noticed my um, Fashion choices lately. I got distracted by kids. I don't remember what I was saying But basically I have a whole new wardrobe that I got from thread up You guys know most of my wardrobe anyway is like 99% thrifted at this point and I found some really sweet gems So I'm gonna share that with you if you don't know thread up is an online thrift store It's a consignment store. You can consign your items and send them away. Uh, it's for women and kids. They have thousands of brands to shop from. I mean the whole range. Brands that I've never even heard of before. This skirt, I'll get into it, but <laughs> brands that I've never heard of because I'm pretty sheltered when it comes to like high quality brands, which they definitely have. And it's up to 90% off retail value, which I'm all about saving that money. But not only are you saving money, you're saving the environment because you're shopping secondhand. They have new arrivals on their website and their app every day. I like to shop their app and just scroll. I have favorites where like you can save your favorite items, but ThreadUp's website is super easy to navigate. You can filter everything by your size, by like what color you want. If you, you're looking for a specific item, you can shop sweater. You want a red sweater and you want it I don't know, a scoop neck or something. It's super easy, you want it in a certain price range, you can filter everything, and I mean, there's a lot to sift through on that website. You can spend days, and never see the same thing twice. So I'm really excited for the things that I found. I found a lot of gems, so I'll let me show you right now. Oh, and I have a special offer for you, so I'll share that at the end of my haul. So hang tight. So ThreadUp offers all kinds of clothes. They have handbags, they have jewelry. Like I said, all for up to 90% off retail value. I got one of my boxes and I, mine actually came in a few shipments. I actually made multiple orders because once I found stuff, I just, I couldn't stop. You guys know how I am when I go thrifting. I find all the gems and I just, you know, up late at night, just scrolling, looking for gems. So anyway, the very first gem I'm super excited to share with you. Don't don't ask me how I found this, but I did. Can you just take a peek on this sweater? Do I need a sweater? No, it's like a million degrees outside. I live in Florida, even winter time, I don't wear a sweater. But I feel like I needed this in my life, in my wardrobe, look at this man. It is clearly vintage, take a peek on that label, but I just had to have it. I had to have it, I saw it and I thought, yep, how can anyone else go home wearing that. So I got this sweater for $14 and the estimated retail value is 48. So super happy about that. Another gem I got a lot of questions about as I wore these on my vacation and I got compliments on when I was out and about wearing it. It's always great when you, you know, get complimented on your clothing. Are these pants? They are like, I don't know, the perfect high-waisted pant. They're high-waisted, they have pockets, 
the uh, fabric, I don't really know what it's called. Seersucker, I think, I don't really know. But it's this black, blue and white striped, it hits at like a capri. And you guys, these are vintage too. So I got these for $9. And the estimated retail price was $25. So super happy about that too. And I forgot to tell you about my skirt. So I got this, it's a BP brand, which is Nordstrom. I'm sorry, I don't have anything from Nordstrom. I got some really like bougie pieces, which, you know, I normally don't splurge, but I did this time. Anyway, this skirt, how stinking adorable is this? First of all, it has pockets, um, I know. It's striped, it has a high cinch waist with this little thing. So I snagged this skirt for $14.99, and the original estimated price is $54. So a screaming deal on this, and I love it. I just love how it's like casual, but also semi-dressed up, but also you don't like feel too fancy. Like I can run errands in this and not feel like, oh, is she coming home from church? You know what I mean? You, you know, It's the perfect balance of put together, but not too much, and that's where I live my life, in between those realms. <laughs> but mostly on this side where it's like not put together, you know, yoga pants and stuff. But, you know, it's just nice now that, you know, everyone's going places and we're getting dressed again, we're getting out of our leggings, some days. <laughs> not every day, okay? But some days it's nice to have like these options to get dressed and I just love having pieces in my wardrobe that make me feel good. Speaking of pieces that make me feel good, okay, uh, I'm, I don't know what to share with you first because I have so many great things. This hat, um, I'm sorry, was I the woman across the room when I was on my beach vacation wearing this hat and my cute little bathing suit and my like cover up? Oh my God, I felt like, yes, this is the woman, how, this is how I want to dress. You know what I mean? The brand is Preston and & York. And I did splurge on this hat a little bit, but I feel like it's the hat of my dreams, the hat that I've always been searching for. I've gotten floppy hats in the past and they just have not held up to snuff. And this one, I paid $29 for this, but the original estimated retail value is uh, $36. Dollars. Okay, this one I have not worn yet because I just feel like it's so fancy for me. I definitely splurged on this one. The brand, okay, can I just tell you, I live next to a really bougie mall. It's called International Mall, and they have some really nice stores in there. Stores that like I peek into, and I'm like, I can't afford anything in there. I'll just stay outside and window shop. <laughs> and dream of like how, how what kind of person gets to go shopping in there and what kind of life they lead. Uh, okay, so speaking of that, this is a free people dress. Yes, a free people dress. I saw this and I was living out all of my boho dreams in this white dress. So I hope that it lives up to the snuff. Oh my gosh, even the tag on this, I feel bougie. Can you even see that tag, free people? They make the tag so small. It's like they're humble, you know, and I like that. So the estimated retail value on this is $125, but I paid $65. Oh my gosh, and I just feel like a million bucks when I'm wearing it. I feel like, oh, is that her? The woman across the room? <laughs> I feel like I need to find a patch of sunflowers to prance around in, maybe some daisies. Definitely going to the farmer's market in this. Definitely going to Trader Joe's and picking up some flowers. I don't know what I'm gonna do in this, but I can do anything I want, right? So pretty. I did get a lot of dresses, like summery dresses. They have so many dresses on thread up. Really, they have everything, but you know, it's summertime and I'm thinking dresses. They're flowy, they're free, they're giving me all the boho vibes of my dreams. Uh, so speaking of summer, I bought a cardigan. <laughs> you guys know I can't help myself when it comes to cardigans. I decluttered most of my cardigans because they just weren't working for me. They weren't bringing me joy. I had a white one that I loved but I ripped a hole in it like a year ago and I haven't replaced it, so I needed, I needed one. So I found this one. It's got a nice like cable knit on it. I really enjoyed the detail. I liked that it had pockets on it. So uh, I got it. The, it's from Forever 21. The estimated retail value is $22 and I got it for 17, which I thought was a really nice price. I've worn this on our airplanes when we've taken flights. I wear it to Costco. I always bring a cardigan to Costco because the refrigerator section is no joke. 
Okay, let me share with you another dress. Oh, wow. Whoa. Man, is this beautiful or what? Holy crud, it's another free people item. Oh, that's another thing. You can search by brand. So when I found that boho dress, I was like, oh my gosh, what else can I find from free people? Because uh, dreams do come true, especially when you shop thread up. Isn't this gorgeous? I loved the print. I love that it was longer. I mean, just touching this, it feels high quality. The estimated retail value on this is $120. $28 and I paid 40 what did I pay $48.99 for this gorgeous just gorgeous I can't wait to wear this I have Alex and I have a date night in a couple of days so I'm I'm planning to wear this on our next date night but you know you could wear this anywhere it's just it screams summer it's also a great transition into fall I would wear it during the winter and spring months too <laughs> I would wear it all year long but, I mean it's just gorgeous am I right yes Okay, this is not my usual go-to. I found this uh, shirt. <laughs> now that I have it, every fairy tale needs a villain. Is that right? Does this mean that like I'm a villain too because I'm wearing it? I don't really know. I just do know that I enjoy Disney. I like uh, Del 101 Dalmatians. Who doesn't love Maleficent? Who else is on there? Oh, or some more evil creatures. I mean, Ursula's the OG, right? Actually, Snow White might have been the first l l feature length animated. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I got this shirt. I figured I could wear it as a nighty or whatever because it is a little big. I might also give it to my cousin because she loves 101 Dalmatians and like uh, Cruella and stuff. Oh, wait, do all of these have a movie of their own except for Ursula? Ursula better have a movie coming out soon, am I right? Anyway, this retails for some dollars. It's Disney, so it retails for $19, and I got it for $10.99, so I thought that was really cute and a steal. I also grabbed this Lily Pulitzer dress. Okay, so <laughs> I've seen other people share thread up hauls because I watch thrifted haul videos all the time because I just, I love when people find a good gem in a thrift store, whether that's online or in store, or whatever. And so many people were talking about Lily Pulitzer, which is the brand of this dress. And I just kept thinking, I don't have anything Lily Pulitzer and her stuff. I mean, she's probably a well-known designer. Her stuff is very expensive and everything is bright and like really, really fun. So I found a few dresses. I narrowed it down because I, like I said, it's a tinge more expensive than your average, you know, everyday brand. So the estimated retail value of this is $143 and I got it for $40, which is crazy. I've worn it multiple times. Every time I wear it, I always get comments. Oh my gosh, that dress is so cute. Look at the print up close. It just screamed. I like, I wore it to the beach. I got several compliments on it. I wore it in a meal prep video. I've worn it to little Buffalo when we were going like pedal boat. I have worn this dress so much. And every time I wear it, I get compliments because it's just unique and fun and bright and it's just cute so Lily Pulitzer is definitely a brand that I will keep my eye out on whenever I you know go to thread up I can type in Lily Pulitzer and see what's new so many cute finds I got this orange skirt it's like a pleated skirt which is always something that's on my wish list when I go thrift store shopping just a nice flowy casual skirt but with a touch of like ooh, the pleats give it a little bit of elegance you know estimated retail price of this one is $36 I got it for $14.99 oh here's another gem okay <laughs> oh you guys I splurged I'll tell you I splurged this is such a beautiful dress. Again, so many compliments when I wore it. I almost didn't buy it because I had the free people dresses. And then this was like one of the last orders that I did. And I just, I went to bed dreaming about this dress. It was in my favorites. I'm so surprised that no one snatched it before I was able to buy it. The estimated retail value on this is $167. I got it for $48.99 and it is worth every penny. And what got me was, cause I always look, I never really know how something is going to fit. So what I do is when I find something on ThreadUp and I'm like, okay, well this is $49. They have a great return policy. But for me, I was like, okay, how is this gonna fit? Is it flowy? Is it super tight? How, how do the pleats look? So I just Google, um, this is an anthropology brand, by the way, Anthropo that's another store. I'm like, oh, what's in there? Maybe one day I'll go inside the store. 
you know, I can afford like a candle in that store. Anyway, I'm not even sure I can afford a candle. I don't know how much a candle is. I just know Anthropology is like a pretty high end store, which is so nice. Anyway, so I Googled Anthropology green floral dress and this came up, I, you know, you image search it and I found this and I saw someone wearing a fanny pack with it and I thought, yes. That is it, I could totally dress that down and make it casual, cause you know me, I'm not like going anywhere fancy, but, and that's what I did. I just dressed it down and it was super casual and nice, but also put together and cute and like, ooh, what's her name kind of thing. So I just fell in love with this and it will definitely be a summer staple for me and fall, springs, all, all the season. So that is my thread up haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the gems that I have. If you guys want to shop thread up, you can get 30% off of your first order if you use the code Kim, K I M, my name. That's my name. Use the code Kim. You can get 30% off of your first order at thread up. And my code expires September 1st. So use it. Go shop thread up. You won't regret it. You're gonna find some good stuff. And let me know what you find. Tag me on Instagram and all that good stuff. Or just send me a photo. Okay, so now let's head to the pantry. We'll do a little cleaning and uh, it needs to be done. <laughs> I was just about to say, wow, I'm surprised the baby is still sleeping. <gasps> Meredith. Oh my goodness. Did you have a good nappy? And you woke up just to help me clean out the pantry? So uh, walking in here to clean out the pantry, I realized Oh, wow. The kitchen is a disaster from lunch, so I'm gonna have to tidy that up. I made some quesadillas for the kiddos on the George Foreman grill. Okay, so as I'm standing here, I, I know the pantry's a mess, but also the top of my fridge is a mess, and I know I made a vow to you guys last time I cleaned the top of my fridge. I said, hey, can we um, like try to make an effort to keep it clean? Well, it no, it doesn't last. <laughs> So I'm hoping since we're gonna be cleaning out the pantry, maybe I can move some of that stuff and then we'll kill two birds with one stone and clean both of the areas. You take my love for granted Say a bunch of stuff you never meet, yeah Okay, let's see. <laughs> well, I was gonna give you a before shot of the pantry, but check up there too. Oh, I have so much to say about that, but we'll get there. The lunch, the lunch containers. If I don't mention it, just remind me. Kim, what'd you have to say about the lunch containers? I'll probably forget. <laughs> Here's a before shot. And really the top is not that bad. It's mostly the bottom where all the kids' snacks should be and the kids get their grubby paws in there and you guys know how it goes. Someone told me, or I read once, that you should clean things out. Okay, how can I word this? The amount of times that you access something a day is how many times a year you should clean it out. So by my calculations, I should clean out my pantry 700 times a year. <laughs> I just don't think that's feasible. Uh, so I think like once a month is pretty good for me. And this isn't like a, oh my gosh, organize and buy all the new containers. No, I'm over that. I just put like items together, like uh, all the snacks in that basket, all the pasta in that basket, and so on and so forth, so let's do it. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what's for dinner, and you know what, I just have, excuse me, I have a few marinades left over from when I did all my marinade videos. I just threw some in the freezer for times like this where I don't know what's for dinner and I have something delicious waiting for me. So this is the lemon dill marinade. Uh, and for a while my kids were like, please no more chicken. But you know what? We've had other things for the past few days. So chicken again tonight for dinner. And I think I can make a really nice pasta with like maybe some dill and some other kinds of lemon sauce. Okay, seems like a daunting task. I'm gonna take everything out. It see, you know what, it seems bad, but hopefully, I'm hoping this only takes me like 30 minutes. Just real quick, take it out, put it back in. Let's just do it, stop procrastinating. You take my love for granted. We keep on talking from body to body. Just 
Okay, I took everything out. It's all over my countertops. I'm gonna clean the baskets out. And there's even more over here. This is like my chip bin and my overstock bin and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna try my best. I'm a sucker for your love. My timer has yet to go off. I'm kind of just waiting for it to go off. Um, I have a few items that I'm going to bring outside because I have five cans of pumpkin. Uh, I don't use pumpkin on a regular basis, so I don't need it readily available for me. So I'm gonna put it outside along with some overstock of ketchup, just some beans and olives, you know, things that I don't use on a regular basis. I'm not a huge fan of this Xanarans, like pre, seasoned rice uh, it is good in a pinch so I'm gonna keep it in our garage for like a hurricane stash so that's nice to have and then overstock of like quinoa and lentils and stuff like that so all of this is being cleared of my everyday battle by being outside and when I need it I can go out there and kind of sift around for it I am so so okay how much time is left on that timer 22 seconds left 32 seconds left. But are we done? No, no we're not. We have to clean up all of the like empty boxes and stuff because there were some empty boxes. There were a lot of duplicates that I integrated together. So let me clear this off and I'll show you the final product. Okay, here is the final result. Oh, what? It looks so much better now that all the clutter is gone. All the stuff that I don't use is not invading my space. I don't know, it just feels so much lighter. And when the kids come in here and say, I want a snack, they know exactly what to grab. They know where to go. Here they are. They don't have to like dig and add, oh, we don't have it. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, there's that. I also kind of cleared off the top of this. That's where I store their lunch boxes. I don't know, maybe I'll come up with a better system, but for now it's working, I guess. I also need to fill up my sugar containers so I can get rid of these things as well. So this is an easy way to clear up a little bit of space. Perfect. Okay, now that that is done, it took me a total of I want to say 40 minutes to do all of that and put all of this stuff away. So all in all, not too long since I've been putting it off for quite a while and it looked like a monstrosity when I first opened it. And plus I have, you know, it doesn't look as crazy up there. Okay, what's next? I can either make pecan pie bars or I don't know if I have enough time before we have a house showing. No, so we'll go to the house and then we'll come home and make a delicious treat. Oh, wow. 
So we've walked inside. Is this our home, you guys? It's absolutely beautiful. Here's the foyer, nice and spacious. There is a beautiful window on the outside of the house. Wish I could show you. So to the right is the living room. To the left is, could be formal living, could be office. It's a huge office. Uh, there's actually a couple office areas. This is the half bath down here for everyone to use. Oh my gosh, okay, looking at the pictures online, I was like, oh, I don't know. Beautiful uh, double doors right there, French doors. That's a nice um, clock right there. And then double doors to the outside. So this was a huge office. Oh, they have little doggies. So this could be a family room. They have made it into um, like obviously a kid's playroom. Hi, puppies, hello. Oh, hi. And then in here, through this hallway is Eden Kitchen. Oh, that could also be dining room as well. Um, but this Eden Kitchen area is a decent size. It's a decent size. They're ready for Christmas in July. And then this is the kitchen. Couple caveats about this. I love it. I think it's big enough, you know, for what we need, not too big. Initially, I thought this was the pantry. Ooh, -hoo, but there's more. So I'll show you, what do they call this? A row kitchen or something? But I like how it's, you can come in on both sides. So it's not like super tight. Um, okay, so that's really nice. I like the backsplash. The cabinets are beautiful. In here is the laundry room. Oh, look at this. Is this a mud closet? Oh yes, linens, they keep towels in there. So this is the laundry room, but there's also space to store a refrigerator. All of these built-ins are here. Laundry room is off of here. Uh, ooh, drop your pants, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, and the ironing table. And then back here, which I thought was super cool, let me flip the light on, is the pantry. Oh, just when you thought there wasn't any space, there is a massive amount of space and they eat Nutella. Yes, can I be their friend? Their dogs are going crazy. <laughs> they just want to sniff us. So, and you know, if in the future we needed a bigger uh, kitchen, we can always bump it out and make the, the entire thing a kitchen if that's like our dream to have a massive, massive kitchen. But this is big enough, I feel like. The cabinets really are beautiful. And then over here is the living room area beautiful brick. You guys know how much I love exposed brick. Beautiful built-ins too. Holy cow. And this is also an extremely large living space. Oh my gosh. Come look at this bay window. This little uh, seating area. That is absolutely beautiful. Love that. Oh, they're in the backyard. That's why the dog started going crazy. So there's sliding doors all the way to the back. Love all the natural light in here. Oh, what's over here? Oh, this is the main suite. Okay. Oh, I think this is an office or what is it? Oh, that's the garage. Okay. Oops. I don't want to set off the alarm. Okay. So this is another office over here. I actually really like that door. It's a small little nook, maybe homework station. I mean, really, I don't need an office. The, the size of that monstrosity that we first saw when we walked in. This is perfect size. I actually really like that. Um, and then this is the main, oh, the main bedroom, a nice sitting area up here. I feel like it's just so bougie. Like I don't live life this way. Like this is an enormous, uh, you know, main suite doors to the lanai and then they have a pool and, uh, not a super huge yard, but bigger than some in the neighborhood, which is really nice. We'll go out there in a minute, but let's check out the bathroom over here. This is, oh my gosh, yep, classic. This will never go out of style, classic claw tub. I mean, that's not my life, but you know, it's nice to have, it's nice to look at. I love the natural light in the little toilet area. Love the built, the cabinets in the bathroom. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. This is a beautiful bathroom. I would be very pleased to bathe and clean my body in here. <gasps> There are runners. Oh, maybe this is where I could hang my race medals and then it'll like pump me up and motivate me to do more. Princess Dash, awesome. Okay, now I'm just like ooing and awing about their medals, but this is the closet. Love, again, the natural lighting in here. I'm a huge fan of that. And I love the like island cabinet space. What, we haven't seen that in a lot of uh, closets. Oh my gosh, look at all the perfume. 
Oh, the woman across the room lives here, and I don't even know her. I need to get her name. Okay, ooh, what's this? Uh, maybe a linen closet. Super tall, too. It's super tall. It goes all the way to the bottom, like most closets do. <laughs> okay, let's head back. Wait, is there more? Holy cow, there's more. Wow, this is another closet. Another main closet over here. This is crazy sauce. So definitely a humongous space to store my things. I'm gonna shut the lights off in here. We're gonna save a little bit of electricity and then we're gonna head upstairs. Did you guys even see where the stairs were? Oh, here they are. Okay, so let's head up these stairs. Oh, all the Disney quotes in here. Okay, <laughs> if that's their thing. All right, so we're headed upstairs. There's five, five bedroom house. So four are up here and then a couple of uh, main rooms. So this is a beautiful place uh, for our kids to congregate. I love all the grandfather clocks they have here. Beautiful windows up here. Are those built-ins? Are they staying? Because I absolutely adore them. Uh, okay, so bedroom, bedroom, and then bedroom, bedroom. But down in this bedroom, there's something extra special. I'll head there in a second. Wow, I love this little seating area too. Okay, let's peek on the bedrooms, see how big they are. Ooh, beautiful size. Oh, yes, guys. And there is something special in here. Wait, why is there a timer right there? I need to know. Uh, that's a nice size closet. Hey, here it is, the Jack and Jill. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the Jack and Jill, so that's definitely another selling point for me in this house. Um, and then, oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, a little model area, wow, <laughs> that's so cute. Okay, here's another bedroom. This one seems a little bigger than the one we were just at. Oh, maybe because of the, the bay window, this sitting area. Oh, are they all runners here? Look at them. I want to have a family that runs. Maybe I just need to get into it again, and then we'll do that. Oh, maybe she does horses, horse competitions. Well, we've got one who might start doing that. Okay, this is beautiful, beautiful. Two more houses. Look, everyone's already at home. Okay, one more room in here. This is the third room. I love how all the rooms are upstairs. It is a split floor plan. It checks off a ton of our box. Oh, a, a second Jack and Jill. <laughs> My dreams are coming true. Uh, yeah, okay, so obviously it checks off a lot of boxes for us. Yes, we love it, we love it. But also, um, it's not as much land as we would like. So this is the fourth bedroom bedroom. They're obviously using this as like a den or whatever. And then back here, this is the only way to access this huge great room. So this is like a bonus. They label it as a workout room. It has closets. I mean, let's just dump all the kids in here, right? <laughs> Bunk beds everywhere. I am having trouble trying to figure out what I would even do in this space. I could just, I mean, this could be my workout area. I could film out workout videos here. I could film workout videos here, you guys. Are you ready for a new channel for me to create? I'm just kidding, I, would, I wouldn't do that. Oh, look, an intercom system. I wonder if it still works. That's another thing on my list that I love that I you know, never knew. Okay, I love this house. I'm gonna walk around without you just for a minute. All these timers, what is that too? Can you guys please tell me? I'm gonna have to ask the realtor. Okay, so I'm gonna roam around and, uh, really get a feel for this place okay can we keep the rug it's absolutely gorgeous okay the dogs are still howling oh is it locked do i know how to work a do i know how to function a door so that is not locked and that is not locked and oh gosh okay okay here is the outdoor deck Nice, uh, nice space. Ooh, the, oh, okay, <laughs> there are the dogs. Uh, so there's a little space over here and then some built-in cabinets. Um, he's gonna show you the cool bath. Cool bath? Oh, there's another one. So there's space up here and a pool bath. Oh, very nice. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, okay, I saw that on the pictures, I was wondering. It's a nice size backyard too. Um, I'm sorry, check out this intercom system. Yes, it still works. And there is a tape inside. The best of Carly Simon. Some of my favorite hits. I'm sorry, is this a sign? <laughs> I have butterflies where, I mean, I, I'm 
99.9% sure we're putting in an offer, but that means nothing in today's life. Oh, God, the dogs again. All right, there. <laughs> there they are. A poochie poochie. A boogie boogie. Okay, here is the backyard. I have a nice little fire pit happening. So it has uh, lake access over here. Guys, this is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if I'm looking at it through rose-colored glasses because we're so eager to move, uh, but man, I'm in awe. All right, we're home from the house showing. I'm gonna get dinner on the barbe, on the baba, on the barbecue, okay? And not even the barbecue, I'm using the GFG George Foreman grill. That's what we're all about. About the house, uh -huh. um, I'm pretty sure we're gonna put an offer in on it. I'm cringing because it's so it's You're so much money. 99.9% sure we're gonna put it in. And here's the thing, if we put an offer in, pretty sure we will get it because it, it, just a lot of factors involved, but um, yeah. So there's that. It's so much money. It's more money than uh, we were thinking we would. Uh, yep. So for now I'm gonna cook dinner. Kind of just decompress for a minute because, man, buying a house. I can't, I can barely wrap my head around the price. <laughs> but it will be our house forever. Forever and ever. And always, hopefully, fingers crossed, who, who the heck knows where life will bring us. I've got some water on the stove top. I'm going to make some spaghetti and uh, make a little nice lemon sauce with some butter and garlic and herb. Sounds great. Doesn't this marinade just look delightful? There's dill in there, there's lemon. I'll let you know how it tastes, but I've got high hopes. Okay, I've got the noodles in here. The noodling, brewing up. And then I also have a bell pepper and then some mushrooms that I'm probably just gonna cook up and, you know, add those to the pasta. I left things unsaid and you cannot forget how my mistakes haunt us. But do they really daunt us? Your tongue can be sharp You've cut me close to the heart But we can master the art And the thing is that these scars Are scary but they are Just small scars We should never be afraid of them Look at this, I'm using my lemon knife to cut my lemon. Oh, yeah! I'm gonna add in some mushrooms here. Oh, I should have cut the mushrooms up a little bit. I like smaller pieces, but it's whatever. All right, here's where the magic happens. Delicious. Couple seeds in there, no big deal. If you get a seed in your dinner, that's just good luck, right? Okay, we've got a lot happening over here. I'm gonna start on the butter sauce. I don't know how much that is. A couple, couple, half. <laughs> tablespoons over there. I'm going to add in a little bit of lemon juice for flavor. I'm gonna take those pits out. Hi, honey bunny. Look at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Beautiful baby. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of flavor, a little bit of Italian seasoning in there. I'm gonna give it a nice little whisk the other lemon and I'm just gonna squeeze it through my hands so that my hands grab all of the seeds. Just a nice light sauce. I love lemons because they add a lot of flavor without a lot of calories. All right, the pasta is done. It needs to be drained. Okay, now I'm gonna add the chicken to the grill and oh my word, does this smell so stinking good. I'm gonna do skin side down. Holy cow, this smells incredible. It's like a garlic, dill, holy wow. Get some good stuff in there. You know what I'm gonna do? Add some fresh dill to the pasta sauce. Just to, uh, I don't know, give it that freshness. Okay, I put some of the pasta on here. I also reserved some because uh, kids, you know. And I'm just gonna throw the vegetables in here. And then I'm gonna toss it in the sauce I made, the Italian seasoning and butter, <laughs> basically. Okay, and then I'm going to 
place the chicken right on top. Should I toss it first? What's happening? Okay, looking good, looking good. Feeling good, feeling fresh. All right, and then here's our beautiful chicken. I hope it's cooked. I'm kind of notorious for undercooking chicken, but like these definitely look done, right? <laughs> All right, here we are. How's that for dinner, huh? Garnish with a little bit of dill. Oh my gosh, Food Network is missing out. Hi. Ooh, ah, look at this. Beautiful master. You know what, food is art. Isn't that right? I just hope it looks, uh, I mean it tastes as good as it looks. So we're gonna find out real soon here. A bone, a put it. All right, here it is, all finished. We had dinner, it was delicious. The chicken was amazing. The pasta was great. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay, so we didn't get about half of my to-do list done. We just got consumed in the house. Uh, sad news, we did not get the house. And you know what, like, <laughs> It just wasn't meant to be, I guess, is all we can say about it, but it it hurts. It's exhausting emotionally. It's draining. It is time consuming. It's all of the above. Uh, it, it also frustrating for Alex and I to let, I mean, we spent that night that we visited it, we spent all night discussing it. I was like moving in in my head. I even, oh my gosh, so I even changed up the kitchen a little bit, which wasn't my favorite. I even, where I was going on Pinterest, I was drawing up house plans. <laughs> so if you can't tell by my blueprint, the row kitchen just like, it, it's a decent sized kitchen, but the meal prep space just wasn't big enough. I don't need to go into a bunch of detail because we didn't get the house and it is what it is. I'm like clinging on to this, kitchen that I've created. I would have gotten rid of the Eden kitchen, put in a massive island, and then just made the back window area. Just more counters, maybe a fridge. Is that the door over there? Maybe the fridge. Get rid of that door, put some French doors in. You know. The things that we do when we're getting ready to spend our literal life savings on the house of our dreams. And uh, you know what? Sometimes it doesn't work out, and in this case it didn't in I mean, the past, what, seven, eight months, it hasn't been working out for us, so. <laughs> that just means there's something better in the future. It's what everyone keeps telling me. Okay, I understand, I'm holding on to hope and all that good stuff, but I did have so many more things planned to do with you guys. I have laundry, I have to clean my car, I have to make the pecan pie bars, I will make them. Oh, yes I will. So it looks like we're gonna have to do that in the next video. Speaking of laundry, go ahead and flip your load from the wash to the dryer. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you want to check out ThreadUp, you can get 30% off of your first order if you use the code KIM. I will put the link in the description box and everything down there. ThreadUp is such an amazing site. I mean, did you see the clothes I got? It's so cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed everything that we did in this video. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.